Hello, friends. What an unprecedented and unpredictable year 2020 has been. Climate change, a global pandemic, racial reckoning in our country, and the national elections. The impact of this year's events are far greater than anyone could have anticipated. This has been a challenging year for everyone, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being there for WSHU Public Radio through these tough times. Our donors, our monthly sustainers, and our underwriters have played a major role in getting us through these past few months, especially when businesses had to close their doors and pause their support. So if you're a contributor of any kind, thank you so very much. And of course, I must add a special thank you to Sacred Heart University who continues to support and value our work. So what happens next? Well, we've been asking this question throughout 2020. And now with the uncertainty of 2021, let me share with you some thoughts of what will happen next. Well, one quote that's been getting me through 2020 is from Audre Lorde, the civil rights advocate and poet. She says, only by learning to live in harmony with your contradictions can you keep it all afloat. There's truly a lot packed into that quote we can learn from as a country. And well, for WSHU, what does that mean? We are a nonprofit organization with finite resources, so we will always have competing priorities. We will work hard to redefine what radio means for our changing demographic and our audiences within a 21st century context. There will again always be competing priorities for us, but if we manage by our mission and we remain resilient by responding well to continuous change, adversity and disruption, not only will we be successful and survive, but we will continue to thrive and grow. One of the things happening starting in January of 2021 is that I'm succeeding our founding general manager, George Lombardi. I will only be the second person to hold the title of general manager at WSHU Public Radio, and I am the first woman and person of color to do so. We're ready for this transition. The team has been working hard preparing for it since August, and we've been working hard not only to cross train our teams, but to institutionalize our knowledge to make sure we don't lose anything through this transition. We have great partnerships also that we've been strengthening at NPR, um, at the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and with the two news hubs we belong to, the New England News Collaborative and the New York State Public Radio Exchange. Also, we are gonna continue our partnership with Stony Brook University, where our Long Island News Bureau is located. This is indeed the station that George built and we will continue the legacy of news, music, and cultural reporting that you hear on WSHU Public Radio. Now, we've also been uh, doing some other interesting things from the summer to really ensure our future sustainability. We've been diversifying our revenue streams with digital underwriting, grants, and some of the partnerships I've already mentioned. We've also expanded professional training for administrative staff in the newsroom. We've increased digital engagement with broadening our audiences online. And most importantly, we've taken a pause as a staff to examine diversity and inclusion measures within our music program plus our news coverage. As a public radio station, I'd like to close this message with you with a quote from Edward R. Murrow. I simply cannot accept that there are, on every story, two equal and logical sides to an argument. This quote has really let us examine what diversity and inclusion means around our news coverage. And WSHU strives and will continue to strive to be an anti-racist organization. As we shared over the summer, WSHU stands in solidarity with all those who fight for social justice. We have no tolerance for racism, bullying, violence, or discrimination of any kind. We will continue our work around diversity and inclusion to make sure we include more voices from the communities around our region. Our own mission statement closes with this sentiment. WSHU Public Radio is committed to making our community a better place to live. 
And this value will be at the heart of everything that we do. So no matter what happens in 2021, we'll be here for you. Thank you very much for listening and supporting WSHU Public Radio. You make the difference. I wish you and yours a happy and healthy holiday season, and we'll see you in 2021. Take care.